So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problem Everybody's talking, everybody's <laughs> I'm Chris Caserta, and I'm here to do another video for you guys. Can you believe this? It's actually two in less than a few days. Uh, here of late, it's been one a week. But uh, hey, I'm here tonight. I'm going to do another review for you. I've got a great build review. Um, our buddy Steven, uh, he has actually came out with another build this afternoon. And it is called the MB Build off of his Steven Wizards. Uh, so we're going to definitely check that out. It's got a new skin, a uh, pretty cool skin actually. Uh, it's very basic, but it's um, it's got a, a, an interesting look to it. And it's called the Embuary. So if you guys are used to the Cody 17 look, that's the Estuary. This is the Embuary skin. So I'll put that in the description box for those that. Um, may not get that or if they fast forward it you know far, part of my videos just to just to see how to download it um, I'll have that in there for you but like I said it's pretty cool it's an intuitive build uh, and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second but really quickly uh, thank you guys for watching I always want to be your number one Cody source and be that person you come to to watch the videos on the build reviews I try to do updated builds uh, also try to uh, do uh, the most current and best builds out there, uh, top training builds. Um, so if this is your first time actually happening upon my channel, or if maybe somebody said, hey, check Chris Cassert out, um, you know what? Uh, there's a reason why I got a lot of subscribers, and, and that's because I do it for you guys. I really do. Um, all these build reviews, I mean, I you know, I could go through a thousand of them myself, but I want you guys to be able to see them. I want to help the developers out. You know, these guys are doing everything they can to um, offer us free service and nice free service. Uh, I've got a streaming device that um, is quite expensive at the store that I work at that we sell. And, um, you know, and... And, you know, and you have to pay quite a bit for the device itself, but it's free service. And, um, you know, DirecTV and Dish Network and all these other guys, they're, you know, they're basically um, making us pay way too much. And these developers are making sure that you guys don't have to do that. So we want to support the developers, and that's what I do. I show these builds for them so you guys will have a good working build for your device. Now, uh, the main reason I want you to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, click on the link below and hit subscribe. Also click that bell and that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with. I'm going to try to get back in the swing of things and get uh, more out per week. Uh, that's my goal. Um, but the number one reason you want to subscribe is you can ask Butch. He was our first winner of my first contest giveaway. He won a Lilbox Q2 that I did a review on. So as soon as I get these devices and do reviews on them, I will actually most likely give them out in a contest giveaway. But you have to be a subscriber to be able to win. That's the number one thing you have to do in order to even have a chance to win. And you have to watch the videos because I usually do the contest over two or three videos. And, uh, and I make you think about uh, questions and all kinds of good stuff. So definitely click on that link below and hit subscribe. I also do streaming device reviews, as I just said, and I also do build reviews, as you can see tonight. So this is a pretty cool build. It is, um, like I said, it's from the Embuary skin, and it's called the MB Build. Steven does an amazing job. I mean, he really does a great job of, um, you know, creating these builds for us, you know, to make it easy, simple for all devices, and you can. All the devices should work fairly well with this device, and there's a lot of room for add-ons. But what I was saying earlier, and then we'll get into the the, the review of it um, and take a depth in-depth look at the build. Um, this is a, a very intuitive build. 
meaning that whatever you do, it works around you. It's a smart build, I guess you could say. So it kind of caters to what you watch and what you, what actions you take. And it basically updates uh, quite often. Uh, you'll see what I mean and actually do updates yourself, but it updates to what you do and what your watching habits are. Now that's that's amazing, guys. The build's not the greatest looking build in the world by no means, but I mean the strength and the smartness of this build is amazing. So you'll see what I mean. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple. You got movies, you got TV shows, live TV, and add-ons. That's all there is to the menu. Uh, if you scroll down, you've got continue watching. Now. How many times have you had to go into Covenant or any particular add-on? You have to go through the whole process of trying to find a source to watch. You get it loaded. The movie starts buffering. It takes forever. And then you finally get it to work. You're rolling along. And then you get a phone call. You pause it. And your phone call lasts longer than normal. And then you go back and that daggone movie has disappeared and taken you back out to the main menu of the hat on how many times does that happen more than we want to count but what this build does is it takes that extra step of having to go back in again and looking for the movie again and hitting play and then hitting Yes, I want to continue where I left off. And then sometimes it don't even do that. Sometimes it goes right back to the beginning of the movie. Well, this build is so smart that when you start watching a movie, it will put it right here, guys, right in this section here. If you have a TV show or a movie, it's going to put it right here and it's going to say continue watching. And the just that's amazing to me, guys. You don't have to go look for it. It's right there. It's based on what you watch. If you go on down, if you have a TV provider, a live TV provider, that's where you are going to find your stuff here. You can add that stuff there. Uh, you also have Next Up. So if you have um, movies or TV shows, well, specifically TV shows that you're watching the episodes, it intuitively knows what you're watching, guys, and it puts it right there. How cool is that? So it populates what you watch, and it puts all of the top trending movies that you watch right there, or TV shows that you watch right there, and bam. You don't have to go looking for it. It's right there, guys. You also have recently added movies. Uh, we'll go into more depth in just a second on that. Uh, but this is movies that have been just added to um, the services. And then you also have recently updated TV shows. So if there's any TV shows, the most current ones that are updated, it'll put it right there. And that's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So let's go into uh, movies. We're going to go into movies. Uh, like I said, you got all movies, or you can actually search for any movies. Uh, this movie... I believe the database has uh, almost 10,000 movies. Uh, that's more than enough to watch, and it's constantly updating. It's updating to your needs, okay? But you can go ahead and search right there. You also, if you go up, you'll see there's a home, a favorites, and a search button. So if you add anything to your favorites, you, one step further, you just scroll up, go to favorites, and bam, it's in your favorite section. How cool is that, guys? All right, so if we scroll down, once again, these are recently added movies. So you'll see some older movies, or you might see some brand new movies. But they're all right here, guys. So this has been recently added to this build. How cool is that? All right. And we have genres. So if you want to search for you know, a movie based on, let's say, science fiction. We can go into science fiction. It's going to give you all the movies in alphabetical order based on sci-fi. Now, let's say we want to go in and find aliens. All you have to do is click to the right, and you'll see it's moving up, the little green box there. We'll go up to A, bam, and... We'll go down. 
So you don't have to go searching too terribly far for it, but there you go. But you can also, uh, anything with alien is going to be in there. Um, aliens, alien covenant. But you can also go up to that middle search, and you can actually search that way. Uh, or you can actually search right there as well. So that's pretty awesome. Like I said, it's it's intuitive. It's it's what you're looking for. Now, this is a recommended movies. So based on your viewing habits, here you go, guys. There's some movies for you to watch, recommended. You also have movies that because you watched a particular type of movies. Now, obviously, this is going to change. This says because you watched The Age of Adeline. Uh, that's what Stephen put in there Um You'll have movies that will kind of go along with what your like likes are, what your viewing habits are, like I said. So this is kind of like the uh, extended info mod. So it's just all in the build. And then you got movies in the top 250. So these are all the popular movies or most watched movies or most gross uh, movies over the last uh, so many years. And it's all right there. You got some new, some old Star Wars, and you've got a lot of the top 250 movies. That's pretty awesome. All right. Now, let's say we want to go in and we want to update some movies, okay? All you got to do is left click. You have your media uh, menu here. You can quick link to movies, TV shows, videos. There's your live TV, music, pictures. Uh, there's miscellaneous add-ons favorites. You have your weather. Uh, you can adjust your weather in the settings. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with that, I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second under services. And you can also go down to system and just hit refresh movies right there or refresh videos. And that will refresh your TV shows and your movies. You also can do that with your music. So let's say uh, you need to update your music uh, Friday rolls around, you got a new set of albums that just came out. You can do that right there. You also have a debugger. You can reload the skin, and you have the power button right there. always recommend if you download a build, always exit the first time by going into power and doing that. And then you just right-click, and you're back to where you were. Okay, and then backspace, and then you're back to the main thing there. All right, moving on. TV shows, much the same. You've got all TV shows. If you click on that, it's going to give you this huge 422 uh, TV show list. And once again, it's probably going to be most popular or most up-to-date current. Uh, and then you can right-click, like I said, and you can, let's say we're Supernatural fans. We can go down to S, click S, and... Don't make me a liar, Steven. <laughs> Supernatural is one of the top shows out there right now. Just kind of have to look for it. Look for it. And there it is right there. You click on it. And bam, you have Supernatural All Seasons. You can go in to right here. The cool thing is there's All Seasons. There's Season 1. has 22 episodes in the little green circle. Two, three, four, I don't know why. Three only had 16 episodes, uh, but they're all right there, guys. That's pretty awesome. And it's even up to the most current 13th season, four episodes in. But you can also see, if you scroll up the top, you can hit back, show full plot. Uh, it tells you all the genres. It gives a synopsis of the season. Uh, it tells you how many episodes in the total uh, to the total um, movie set. It uh, gives the rating, you know, and all kinds of good stuff when it first aired, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. Just hit backspace, and it's going to take you back there. Backspace again, and then you have next. You have next up. So once again, if you watch, say, Supernatural. Uh, over and over again, it's going to pop up there, and then it's going to have the most updated TV shows. So if a new TV show updates, it's going to be right there next up. Uh, you also have recently updated TV shows right there. You also have genres again. You have recommended again. 
You have, because you watch Gotham, in this case, it'll have TV shows that are similar to that, kind of sci-fi-ish. And you'll have the TV shows in the top 250. And once again, you can click to the left and hit refresh, and it will actually refresh and update stuff for you. All right? So pretty cool stuff. I like it. Hit backspace. And then we'll go on to live TV. Go into that. You've got in progress. So if you've watched any particular TV show, you can click on that and it's in progress. And as you can see, it pops up really quickly for AMC. Now includes Netflix on us. So the live TV is outstanding right. on this. Netflix. And just to show you, I'm not full of it. We'll go to ESPN in HD and bam, there we go. It's presented by Hampton by Hilton. Got some football. Book today and follow your team all the way. And in part by Taco Bell's new crispy chicken all. quesadilla. A Marshall Chan. Obviously, that's my team, my alma mater. And we won yesterday against Taco Middle Tennessee Bell's State. That puts us at 6 and 1 for the season. On the, the only Bell. loss is to student NC State, State which is in the top 25. So here. we beat and Cincinnati, we beat a lot of good teams. Quite a scene. Um, and a lot of it we've actually done on the road. Game. But there you go. The you got Bell. LSU and Ole Miss right there. And pretty good quality. So you've got a lot of different things here in progress. Not going to go through all those. You've got last tune channels. Um, I do apologize. These are your last ones if you've actually watched these. You just see, look what I did. Uh, AMC, ESPN right there. You've also got a guide. You've got recordings, timers, radio channels, and TV channels. So let's say we want to go into TV channels. We just click on TV channels. And there you go. There's your list of your TV channels. And there's a good amount of them. So if you're a big sports fan, you can see right off the bat, it's all kinds of sports. So great stuff there. And it's all intuitive. If we go down, once again, we always have a continue watching there. And there's your live TV there, that link as well. All right, moving on, we've got add-ons. So we'll go into add-ons. You have the Skin Helper Services. And these are all your video add-ons. As you can see, there's not very many there. So you can go in and add any. All you have to do is go on to the add-on browser, click that. And then you can do your install from zip and install from repository there. You could go into my add-ons and it gives you all of your web interface, your weather, video, services. So let's go into services. Oh, actually, we'll go in via the settings. All right. Oh, I've had a lot of people ask me about subtitles. There you go. You got subtitles folder. So all kinds of good stuff there as well, guys. You can long press the select button on any movie. Uh, we'll show you guys how to do that. Here's your program add-ons. You've got your Android app. So if you have Android apps in your device, it's all right here. There's my fork that I was telling you about, the Cellular TV or CDTV. Uh, great stuff. Like I said, it's a great fork. Uh, it's uh, kind of high tech-ish, I guess you could say. Um, but if you want to get out of that, just go back. And then all you have to do is click to the left, go down to settings, and bam, you've got player settings, media settings, service settings. So we'll go into service settings, and we'll go down to weather. We're going to right-click, go down to settings, we're going to change the location here. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, 25704. And we're going to hit the enter button there. And yes, that is West Virginia. And then we're going to click to the left and hit OK. And now you have your own weather right there up in the upper right hand corner you'll see 61 degrees 
and the time. So it keeps it all there for you. There's your skin settings, interface settings, just to show you that I'm not lying about the skin. You can just click to the right, go on skin, and there's your emuary. If you don't like that, you can also do a stishy, all right, which is the old 16.4 Jarvis skin. So pretty cool build, guys. Like I said, it's all based on what your viewing habits are and what you want. It's very basic, very simple. Um, let's go into movies real quick. And then we're going to go into all movies. Now this does take a little bit to load because um, there are, I believe, 9,000 plus movies. About 9,300. So let's say um, we like two guns. Okay, we're going to long press the select button. You can actually play it from here. You can get information. You can, once again, play it from there. And then we'll add it to favorites. Okay, let's go back out to the main menu. Go up and over to favorites. And there you go. And all you have to do is click on the movie itself. And look how fast that loaded. So it's taking a little bit of time to catch up. Um, we're not going to wait on that, but that was how fast it was. It automatically loaded for you. Another great thing. All right, so hopefully you guys... Oh, and there's the skin up there too. It says Imbuary up to the top. And it even tells you that you've got the arrow to the left. Once again, you can refresh the videos or refresh and update the information. So pretty cool stuff. Add to it. Uh, if there's add-ons that you want to add on, there's a lot of room for that. Uh, it's a very light build, and all devices should work with it. So are you guys ready to learn how to download it? All right. Well, I'm excited to, to actually get to show you. So what we're going to do is normally I would ask you guys to hit the power button, uh, but just for time constraints, we're going to go ahead and go to the main menu. And we're going to go down to... Cody, I'm going to go ahead and open it, and it is a 17.4 Krypton Cody, as you can see. It's fresh. There shouldn't be anything on there, as you can see. All right, the first thing we want to do, I'll go fairly slow here for you guys. If you all have not done a build yet or loaded a build, uh, so if you guys that have, just kind of bear with me. But you want to click the little gear there. So go ahead and do that for me. We're going to go all the way down to System Settings. Go ahead and click Enter. Then we're going to go down to Add-ons. We're going to click to the right with your controller. And you're going to go down to Unknown Sources. All right, Here we're going to go ahead and click Enter. And that's going to bring up a box. And it's a warning box, just a standard warning. We want to hit Yes. It's just letting you know, hey, look, dude, if you are downloading stuff to me, which I'm brand new, uh, I might incur some violence or some viruses or some something. <laughs> so, you know, it's just your typical warning uh, just to let you know you are downloading stuff from other sources and, um, and it's okay. I've never had any problems with it, so we want to hit yes. And as you can see, if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to download anything because it won't let you until you actually click yes. So once you're for, uh, done with that, go ahead and backspace. Then just hit down for me, and it'll take you to the file manager. And then go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to go down to add source. And then we're going to type in, hit enter, excuse me. And then we're going to type in this URL path just like I type it in. Okay, this is going to be to Aries Wizard. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Aries, go down and click on the hyphen, go back to the alphabet, and then type in repo, oops, not three, let's try this again, repo dot EU, okay, and that's going to get you to Aries Wizard. So once you've done that, type it in exactly. Remember, not an underscore or not a forward slash. 
but it does need a hyphen in there between areas and repo or it won't work. So just go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to name it. So let's go ahead and name it dot Aries. Now if you have a lot of sources, I always recommend putting that dot in there. That will put it at the top. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So once you've hit dot Aries, go ahead and hit OK. Scroll down, hit OK. And you can see it's at the top there. But when we go into install from zip file, you'll really see it there. But it is there. If you get any error messages or anything like that, that typically means you have not put in the right URL. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Doing a lot of talking and uh, losing my voice a little bit. All right, so we're going to hit backspace twice. We're going to go down from the main menu to add-ons. Go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to go up to that little open box. It is the install box. Go ahead and click enter. As always, we're going to go into install from zip file. Click enter down one space to dot Aries. Now you see it's at the top. So anything that you add, if you guys are not real familiar with computer uh, language uh, or etiquette, anytime you type a dot in front of anything, it's always going to show up in front of that list. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we're just going to go ahead and click on Aries, then down one to repository dot Aries project zip. Go ahead and click enter. And we're going to give it a second. As you can see, it pops up Aries Project Add-on Installed. Once we get that message, we click Enter on Install from Repository. We go down to Aries Project, click Enter. We go down to Program Add-ons, click Enter. Down one to Aries Wizard, and then hit Install. Okay, and it'll say Installed, Add-on Installed, and you'll get a check mark to the left of it. Or if you're looking out from the computer screen to the right. Yay! Uh, let's just go ahead and click enter on the Aries Wizard there. And then scroll to the left. and Or to the right. It'll take you to open. Go ahead and click enter. Aries Wizard is going to load for us here in just a second. Download. And then it's going to bring up Aries Wizard. So as you can see, it'll say loading. Please wait. And we'll give it a few seconds. Uh, if you guys are not a, uh, not familiar with Aries Wizard, uh, it has a ton of builds. It's my favorite wizard. Um, so basically all you have to do is hit Browse Builds, and you've got the world at your fingertips right there, guys. Anything in the green, just to let you know, there's Steven's build right there at the top. But anything in the the green you have to actually get a code for okay but you can I mean you can go on down and 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 you can select any particular a lot of these are just wizards even so within these are other builds there's the Grim Reaper that I was showing you guys so once again we're going to go into Steven's build so click enter on Steven and then you, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Actually, three ways. You can, if you have a QR scanner on your phone, you can just hold it up to the barcode there. It'll automatically pop up a pin, and then just scroll to the right, hit enter. Uh, and then you can do it that way, or you can go to http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot lee forward slash build underscore pin, and you can get the build pin that way. Or you can hit get pin if you have your Chrome uh, that's hooked up with it or another browser that's hooked up to your Android device. And there's your pin that way, 5531. So we'll just hit backspace, and then hit enter. You're gonna type in the four digit code, and then hit done. And there you go. He has a ton of builds, guys. And I would definitely check it out. We've had a lot of great responses from the adult cinema build. Um, that's his first adult build that I've ever seen him do uh, and it looks like it's been updated so Steven we need to get you to do a little bit more adult builds son <laughs> these people want some adult content um, <clears throat> but you know uh, Steven does a good job because he tries to make it uh, user friendly or kid friendly as well 
So <clears throat> it's a great build, but as you can see, uh, we're going to look for the one that says MB build. All right, so once we found that, go ahead and click enter. It's going to take you to install, and it gives you kind of a look at the build right there. Just hit install. And now the cool thing about these options are if you have favorites uh, on a previous build or you have sources uh, on the main screen or you have add-on settings that you want to keep, you just click on these and it'll keep them for you. That way you don't have to go back through it again. All right, so we just hit yes, install there. If you guys have any questions or if there's any builds that you want to see, uh, definitely let me know. I'll probably be doing just kind of give you a kind of an update uh, on the next few builds that I do. I still want to do one on now you can see we're extracting the files there. I still want to do one on J Diggs uh, newest X um, X1 Xenon build. It's actually a really cool build. Um, so we'll go, we're probably going to show you that. Uh, there is another build that I did a while back called Kirk's build. Uh, and it's had some major, major updates. I'll probably show you that. Uh, there's an SG simple build that I really liked. So I'll probably do a review on that. And I'll tell you what, the one build, um, I didn't really care for the look of it because there's nothing hardly there. But one of the builds is just kind of shot up to the number one top trending um, builds for the week and probably will stay there is the perks build i was amazed at that there's really not much to it uh, it's very just simplistic um but you know it doesn't have a lot of the fan art and stuff like that but it's uh obviously it is a great build so we are probably going to check out those builds and go from there now once it comes up it'll say do you want a backup skin hit no it says thank you for uh using aries wizard do you want to join a contest no I mean, if you want to, you can. And then just force close Cody by hitting OK. And I'll take you back out to the main menu. And this is the uh, cellar door fork that I was telling you about. I also have SPMC Fire TV Guru uh, has come up with a couple forks. Uh, there's my Jarvis. I, I actually had somebody ask me to do a Jarvis build. I'll probably do one. Uh, I've got a build that I've kept on there. Uh, that's called the Razor build. Uh, and it is really cool. And then there's my Diggs build. So he actually has some forks too. Um, if you're a Supreme Builds fan, you can add more forks. There's Nodi. Uh, that's like seven forks right there. That's seven builds, guys. Seven builds that I can put on there. It's pretty cool. All right. So usually what I do is I keep my Cody fresh and clean. And then on these other ones, I've got Steven builds, uh, Steven's build here. Uh, and I've got a couple other builds here. Uh, obviously, Steven was on this one, so we're going to take him off the main Cody. And I'll probably keep this build a while. I really like it. So we're going to go and click on Cody. All right, but this time when it loads, it's going to load the build. So you, remember, guys, you want to give it a few minutes to actually download uh, and get the shortcuts downloaded and have everything before you start maneuvering through the build. But that's it, guys. I mean, this is an intuitive build that I love because if you watch certain things, uh, it, it basically takes the fun and makes it easier for you uh, instead of having to look for all kinds of stuff that, you know, because we all tend to favor things that are similar in nature. Like, for instance, if you watch Chicago Fire, you're probably going to watch Chicago PD or Chicago Med or something like that. It's just an example. If we watch... Uh, CSI New York will probably watch CSI uh, Vegas and Miami as well, even though those are no longer um, going at this time. Um, but, you know, and then there's CSI Cyber as well. So this build does that for you. It just intuitively takes all the stuff that you watch and it puts recommendations in there. You just kind of have to hit, hit update every so often and it will update the episodes and uh, movies and things that have been added. And Steven's going to constantly add movies too as we go along. So that 9,300 could turn into well over 10,000 and then some. So it's a great build. As you can see, it's very simple, um, but I like it. I really do, and it saves you a lot of time. Uh, so I will definitely keep this on one of my forks for a while and give it a chance. 
uh, which I recommend you do. If you get a chance to say hi to Stephen, he's a great guy. He'll talk back to you. Um, he won't talk at you, but he'll talk back with you. Uh, just a great guy, uh, and he does a great builds, and I've been a great fan and supporter of his uh, since I started this whole um, whole video recording for you guys. So, uh, like I said, I, as soon as he comes out with one, I always try to update you guys and let you know. But anyway, you guys have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I will maybe even do another video tomorrow. I've got another like I said, another great build I want to do. So we'll probably do that one tomorrow. All right. So you guys take care. It's a pleasure doing another video for you guys. Remember, I want to be your number one Cody source. Uh, so spread the love. If you have anybody that has Fire Stick or any other device, uh, let them know about me because, you know, I can help you guys out, get you guys in the right builds that you want. All right. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, you can leave a general comment or as always, I leave my email address down at the bottom of the description box. You can email me that way, too. All right, so you guys have a great night, and I appreciate you watching. Appreciate the love and support, and you guys have a great night. Good night.